Hello, I'm Bailey Tian. And I'm Derby McLaughlin. And you're watching Logger TV, the news and variety show created and produced by students of Eureka High School. We've got a delectable episode for you filled with a homecoming recap, music, and short film. Stay tuned. <laughs> First, some school news. Eureka High School recently celebrated homecoming. There were many activities going on throughout the week for students and teachers. Chalk on the Walk is a new tradition at Eureka High that was instated this year during our homecoming festivities. The event gave the different clubs and classes on our campus opportunities to represent themselves by creating artwork on a designated square on Main Street. Judges representing all aspects of our school determine the winner. The hallway decorating contest that the classes participated in during homecoming is a great example of organization and cooperation. The Sunday before homecoming week, the students in each class got together to put up posters, props, and lights within a time period. The classes got to display their school spirit and class pride by decorating their specific hallway to match the class theme. The Monday morning of homecoming, each hallway is judged and a winner is declared at the lunchtime rally, kicking off the homecoming competitions. Dress up days are a homecoming tradition here at Eureka High. They allow students to support their classes, show their school spirit, and wear something silly. This year, we introduced Disney Day to our lineup. This day let the students celebrate the magic that is made every year at EHS. Students sported princess gowns, Mickey ears, and hunchbacks to portray beloved characters that we were acquainted with in our childhood. The Tug of War Rally is a competition between the classes and the faculty where the freshmen compete against the seniors and the sophomores against the juniors. Then, the winner of those two groups face off and the winning class competes with the faculty. This is a time-honored tradition that the students take part in every year to show off their class spirit. One, two, And now for a musical performance by Mixed Ensemble. Kayla and we are Mixed Ensemble. This is my fourth year in Mixed Ensemble. We are an audition group and we are an all-girls group at Eureka High. It's a really great group. We do a bunch of varieties of music and we do acapella and accompaniments. It's a really fun group to be in. We get to travel. We've gone. To, I've gone to San Francisco and to Portland with this group, and we've sang in a jazz festival in Portland and got to go see lots of exciting shows. <laughs> Today we're doing two acapella songs. We're currently waiting for our um, conductor, though. He's in the middle of doing orchestra. Shabby! 
Ding dong, lang a lang, goo ba doo ba, yip, yip, shabu. And now a short film by John George. So once upon a time in a magical land, not far from your home, there lived a powerful wizard with a monocle. But he was an evil wizard. So anyways, the wizard lived in a dark, magical forest, which one day, a weary warrior was walking home to his family from the Great Crusades. But the wizard stopped the warrior off guard, and demanded a fee for him to have safe passage through the forest. The wizard said that if the man did not pay, he would incinerate him into a million pieces. The poor warrior replied, But kind sir, I have no money. I am just trying to reach my family. The wizard had to think of a way for the warrior to repay him. I want you to go get the diamond from the magical cave where the dragon lives. Now go get the diamond, you puny little mortal man. The warrior traveled long and far, and fought many foes, such as the ogres, vampires, and zombies. Tons of zombies. But the warrior was very skilled in combat, killed many foes, and always came out on top. That's what she said. <clears throat> this is my fairy tale, shut up. So eventually the warrior found himself at the entrance to the magical cave. Where rumor had it, a powerful, old, and wise dragon lived with razor-sharp teeth that could cleave a man in half. But this did not bother our warrior, for he was fearless. He was brave. This warrior, he was valiant. And he was ever so handsome. So the warrior poked his head into the dark, desolate, and dank cavern. Yoo-hoo! He looked around the cave, sword at the ready, ready for anything, except for the giant columns of fire coming out to try and incinerate him. Ah! Our warrior may have lost his hair, but not his pride, or his spirit. The battle lasted long through the night, the dragon shooting out hellfire between its fiery lips, and the warrior delivering steel death with his soul. After a most epic and courageous battle, the warrior finally managed to kill the beast by stabbing out one of its eyes. You foul beast, I slay you! The next morning, the warrior found himself standing on a throne of victory. Gold, diamonds, no women, but it was still pretty sweet. That night, the warrior found himself going home to his family and living happily ever after.